like getting into music, getting into guitar, and then once getting into guitar, like certain albums that really kind of like were like big moments that really expanded your guitar playing, I guess, skill wise, and also just like, whoa, you can do that, like kind of stuff. And it's like, Use Your Illusions 2 was like the first record that got me into, got me into like rock and metal. That was like my, my gateway to it. And obviously like, once I heard Metallica, I think the first record I heard was Master of Puppets. That was like the record that I, first time I heard guitar riffs like that, which was like what really inspired me to want to play guitar. And then it was like Metallica and then Rust in Peace by Megadeth was like a big game changer. Slayer Rain and Blood and also uh, Iced Earth Something Wicked This Way Comes because the, the fast triplet guitar playing was like, I'm like whoa, that's, that's pretty awesome. And then Maiden was another big one for like the melodies and stuff, but it wasn't really, I guess, anything, any record in particular, because I think the first thing I got was like a greatest hits record. So like, it was just kind of like the whole sound in general. So those were like my big, I guess, influences, like just as developing as a musician and as a music fan. For me, Metallica's Black Album got me into metal. I never heard metal before that. So that was the first metal record that I heard that made me want to get really serious guitar. Um, I got serious guitar practice all the time. Was asked to try for tripping when I was like 12 or so. Um, the next one was probably in Flames Jester Race. I've never heard at that point metal like that. I've never heard that mixture of such beautiful melodies coupled with really brutal vocals. So Jester Race showed me how you can inject far more melody into guitar playing and almost tell a story as if vocals would through guitar. The next biggest one was probably also in Flames, but Rerouted to Remain, because um, the time that I was getting into In Flames, that was shortly before that record came out. And that's when they started injecting clean vocals into their stuff, and you saw screaming and singing, more melodic guitar playing. That's the, and when I heard all that stuff, I started injecting that back into the band. The same thing with when I heard Jester Race, then I heard uh, Rerouted, and then Elaborate Just Breathing by Killswitch Engage. That's another one that really helped shape where I wanted to take the band that I was in. And so those are probably some of the main milestones I can think of. There have been more throughout, but those are the, the key ones that helped direct Trigger and where it was going to go. Also, uh, the, one, the one record that I guess uh, we had a lot of influence on Ascendancy that we didn't really ever, surprisingly, we never really talked much about, but I remember Death Sound of Perseverance was like, I remember huge, huge I had, us. I got into Death and I got like, it was like one of those times where like you get into a band and then when you go to the CD store, you buy like the whole catalog that's available at the store. And I got all the records and then, and then eventually Sound of Perseverance actually came out or it just came out when I got into them. So that was like kind of like the, one of the last records I bought, but just like the guitar playing and the, the melodies with the heaviness and stuff. I remember we, there's like a lot of riffs that we have on records that are very mm -hmm. like death inspired picking, but no one really ever picked up too much. Yeah, so I had influence. But <laughs> Sound of Perseverance and Martyr Warp Zone, those are really big records that we were into before writing Ascendancy. That style of picking kind of corrected to the record.